Hello, my name is Tiffany. I'm the diary maker behind Leita Valley Fiber Co. You can find me on Instagram at Leita Valley Fiber Co. You can find my shop online at LeitaValleyFiberCo.etsy.com or you could direct message me LVFiberCo at gmail.com. Today is December 17th, and if you've been catching up with me during Vlogmas, I've been vlogging every day, and um, it's been fun. But I did want to come on here for my regular podcast and kind of update you on what I'm working on and um, my progress so far on different projects. I wanted to start today by talking about what I'm wearing. This is the Diana dress by Ellie and Mac. And um, this pattern is an excellent pattern. I highly recommend it. Not only because you get this beautiful dress, it has like 10 options for this pattern. You can do um, a tunic, you can do a shirt, you can do a mid-thigh dress, you can do above the knee dress, you can do at the knee dress, you can do a maxi. has so many different sleeve styles and lengths, at neck style and length, um, which I've done the, the square. I've never done square before, so I wanted to give it a try and see how hard it was. So easy. Um, it has these poofy sleeves with this detail, you do some shearing right here. I did four rows of shearing and it makes this little bell super elegant and just beautiful. I love it. I'm going to be making more and probably some shirts too because I like, I'll put in a video here of me revealing the dress. I did it on one of the Vlogmases. Um, it has excellent coverage. It's it's beautiful, it's classy, it's very in right now with the tears on the skirt. Um, it's super comfortable. I wore it to church this morning for the first time and I was super cozy and comfortable and not feeling restricted at all. I, so I love it. I'm excited to make another Diana dress. Okay, let's talk about some finished objects. Well, one being the dress. Two being a spin project and then a dye project for the Angus sweater by Camilla Vad. Um, you will have known from the last couple of episodes that I have been planning for this color work sweater and I had to do some dyeing and I had to do some spinning. I've gotten those done. So let's talk about the spinning first. I spun this um, merino and um, viscose Tweety blend together. The yarn is by Rusty Spur Creations. I will link everything down below. Um, I was trying to spin this sport weight and it went worsted, so I'm still going to use it. Because why not? It's going to be beautiful. Um, it's going to be up here in the color work yoke. And then this, which I dyed, is going to be the main body of the sweater. This is um, sport weight. It is uh, alpaca, wool, and tussa silk along with the viscose in there. So um, it's going to be like this. And... Um, it's going to have a black up here or a really dark gray. I'm going to pull it from my stash. Um, I had previously dyed some of it and um, so I'm going to pull one off my shop and use it for this. So there'll be black up here, then this green and then the gray. And the green has um, like chartreuse green but then it's got this blue green that kind of runs through it and and actually this yellowy color as well. So um, it's very lovely and it was fun to spin. I did that, um, I finished that up the last between the last time and this time of the video. So 
Um, yeah, so that is finished, and I'm excited to cast that on. It, I, this was going to be my New Year's Eve cast on. However, I don't know that I'll be done with my field sweater by then. Um, and I generally only have one sweater going at a time. So, I guess that's the deal. Can I get it done, my field sweater, by New Year's when I can cast this on? Probably. I'll try. Sleeve Island, Body Island, it's all coming up. I cast this on maybe two weeks ago, and um, I am using, well, first of all, this is the Field Sweater by Camilla Vad. I always want to add the L. V-A-D, Camilla Vad. And I'm using my own hand-dyed yarn in the uh, Blue Moon colorway. And, um, yeah, it is worsted weight and, uh, super wash. This, uh, I have split for sleeves and I'm down on the body probably, I don't know, I'll hold it up here. Maybe like that. <laughs> there you go. But this lace pattern is really popping now, um, especially since I put it on bigger needles, uh, circular needles. So I've split for sleeves. I'm about maybe two inches down here. Regular life, people. Regular life. Okay, so um, I did a few things. I added a few things to the pattern to make it fit my body a little bit better. And one of those things is I added two short rows to the front. I don't know if you can see that. Um... I can see it now, but I'm hoping it's not as noticeable once I've blocked it and it's kind of filled in a little bit, um, the spaces. So I did short rows before um, or right after I split for sleeves. I think I did two or three rounds. Then I did the short rows uh, just in the front. And then I knit five more rounds and I did under the arm, I did an increase. I've done two so far. Um, every fifth round I've done one increase under this sleeve and one increase under the right sleeve. So I'm hoping that that'll give me a little bit more ease through the waist area um, so that it's more of a comfortable fit. Um, but dressy, I mean, look at that, super cute. I like it a lot. I can hardly wait to wear it. <laughs> um, anything else? I've, I've pretty much done everything else to pattern. Um, the need, <clears throat> actually, um, I think I have different needles. I can't remember. Oh yeah. I think it called for a four millimeter and my gauge was too loose with the four. So I did a 3.75. It might've even been a four and a half. I can't quite remember. Do I have the pattern? I'm not going to rifle through. But anyway, uh, that's that's the needle size that I'm using to get gauge. And I did, <clears throat> you cast on here at the collar and I did all that per the pattern. There's also some um, increases and shaping 
after you've done the 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 lace work <clears throat> so that's kind of nice i think it'll be really beautiful again field sweater camilla vad i i was thinking that i would get through it like you know pretty quickly and be able to maybe wear it for christmas but i've had a few gift knits that i kind of put on my plate um at the last minute i wasn't planning to knit um those items but i ended up doing that okay so that's it for finished projects let's move on to works in progress i have finished a few things um one of them i'll post here i um hand knit hand spun and hand knit some mittens for Hudson's teacher at school. And I did it with the purple here is Cheviot. And then I dyed that with um, cochineal. And the pH was slightly negative, so it shifted from pink to purple. Um, and then the lighter color here is um, undyed and it is wool and 10% bison. So the mittens are really rustic, uh, but super warm and I think she'll really like them. Um, the pattern is by Tin Can Knits and it's the world's simplest of mittens. Um, okay, so another work in progress is a pair this is a last minute cast on because I realized that I didn't have a gift for my husband. And he is actually really hard to shop for because if he wants something or needs something, he just buys it. Um, so one thing that he really appreciates that he can't just buy is hand knit socks. So I am using this Patton's Croy in the Cadet colorway. I bought it at my local jo Joann's. I have cast on the first sock and I misplaced my needles so I'm only doing one at a time. I am using size 2.75 millimeter which is a US 2 and I cast on 24 stitches down here at the toe, increased to 72 stitches, I knit for 7 inches. Um, and I added a little bit of negative ease in there. And then I did the heel, which is the shadow wrap heel. And I turned it and increased again to 72. And then I've been knitting in the round here for about, mm, probably an inch and a half. So I'm going to go maybe six inches total and then do the ribbing. And I've got plenty. This is just the first skein and I bought two. So I have plenty to do the other one as well. And this is a somewhat of a fade. I didn't realize that. Um, but it starts out with this lighter blue marling-ish. And then by here it got really dark. And then it's lightening up again as you can see. So... Those are some socks for my husband for Christmas, and I should be able to get them done, especially since I put the field sweater on the back burner. So another thing that um, I started this last week is spinning on a spindle. Now, most of you know that I have a Ashford Kiwi uh, spinning wheel, and that's what I learned to spin on. And um, my husband thought while I was doing Vlogmases and stuff, he said, why don't you run down to the yarn store and get some fiber and, or not fiber, get a drop spindle and do learn that as well. Um, plus, if you're doing the 100 days of spinning, you have to do it on a drop spindle versus a wheel. So this is what I picked up. I bought this at Paradise Fiber. It was on sale. 
and um, it's a top whirl. I get this part here is the whirly part, I guess. I don't know. I don't know enough about them. Um, yeah. So it uh, has been quite a bit of a learning curve, but I feel like if I hadn't learned to spin on my wheel, this would have been a lot harder um, because I've dropped it so many times, more times than I can count. And I've bent this little section here <laughs> a couple times. So um, the thing about this is it's pretty substantial. It's pretty hefty, which means that um, it will spin like DK weight yarn or bigger. Um, and that's what I'm finding. It's pretty, there are some areas where it's super thin, um, but overall it's not thin. It's more on the thicker side. So that's been a little bit of a lesson learned. So today I was at church and my sister handed me this little package and I didn't get to open it there with her because um, it was busy and um, lots of talking and whatnot. So I got home and I opened the package and lo and behold, this was in there. I was completely shocked. I called her right away and I said, Carmen, did you make that? And she had, she made it a while ago, she said. And um, it's very light, which means according to her, that you can spin lace weight. So spin lace weight and then ply two lace weights together for a fingering. And I, sorry. Um, so this is a drop spindle, but I feel like you could do supported. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. Wow. So this is a Turkish spindle that comes apart like that. And she made this. I, I find that fascinating. Like because it has to be weighted and balanced, you know, and it spins really nicely. And then look at that, the detail on there. And down here on the shaft. Wow. Absolutely amazing. So um, I am excited to give this a try. It's so tiny. I Yeah. How fun. So thank you, Carmen. I feel really blessed and honored that you gifted me with this cute little spindle. <laughs> It's just amazing. Okay, so um, that's from my sister. And let's see, what else do I have going on? Um, I am, that, I think that's it for spinning and knitting. I have a couple other gift knits that I need to do, but I won't have to do them until after Christmas because they're being shipped off to Spain. Um, so, I have a little bit of time to do those. Um, I do want to do another sewing project, but I don't know if I'm going to get to it before Christmas. Um, it's it's going to be busy this week and then Christmas. So Christmas Eve is a week from today. Um, so, yeah. Um, as far as news from this corner of the world, um, we don't have any snow here in Eastern Washington, and um, we're not supposed to have snow up until Christmas, so that's very sad. <laughs> it would be nice if it was white and snowy and so festive for Christmas. Um, I have been doing Vlogmas every day since December 1st. Um, uh, 
Um, and it's been really fun just kind of getting into the routine and bringing you into our home life every day. Um, so that'll end on Christmas Eve. So I have seven days left. And um, Hudson is out of school for, we're going to take a, a break for two weeks. So this next week and then the week in between Christmas and New Year's before starting back up again. So um, then my husband gets a couple days off extra around Christmas time from work. So we're going to do some fun things there. So I hope you guys are planning a very festive Christmas with you and your family. I just hope that you are all well and um, really leaning into the season um, and quality family time. Uh, we really enjoy that, uh, the Christmas season for that aspect of it. Just um, more time together and more quality time together and intentional time together. Um, so it doesn't, you know, it's not always perfect and it brings about its own challenges, but it's, um, it, overall, it's just such a blessing to be around those that you love during the holidays. And I hope that you all are doing the same. So Merry Christmas and I'll see you next time.